Hey everybody, how's it going? I've had this video recorded before, but um, I saw in the comments something about the, along the lines of the Chosen One has returned on my like update apology video. And I thought that was really funny, so I thought I'd reshoot this video just to give a shout out to that comment. I thought that was just funny to read and I appreciate it. Uh, so, that was pretty cool. But anyways, uh, what we have here is the model that I worked on after the town model. This is a Blood Ravens Tactical Marine and no I am not giving up my Dark Angels but I wanted to try my hand at the Blood Ravens color scheme I've always liked the Blood Ravens and I always found it a shame that they didn't really get any uh, support in terms of the miniature war game you know the only thing they got was like in 2010 or so um, the decal sheet from Forge World which was kind of a, uh, uh, a letdown not, no the decal sheet is great don't get me wrong but the letdown part was I was like, oh man, decal sheet, they're going to do something with the Blood Ravens. Never happened. So, um, that was a little bit upsetting. But, uh, when I first got into collecting a Space Marine Force, and that was because of Dawn of War, uh, I knew a 40k before that, and I looked at it, but I never really considered collecting a Force and playing it until after playing Dawn of War. I wanted to do Blood Ravens, but there was no decal sheet, and I was like, I'm not painting up that symbol. So, I looked elsewhere, and don't get me wrong, I'm a big fan of the Dark Angels, but just that's a little bit of background into how I got into painting up that force, just because these guys didn't have a decal sheet. But anyway, as you can see, the decal looks pretty good. Um, this one's a little bit off kilter, that was my bad, I, I thought I had it centered, but I was mistaken. So I did a little script work here with a micro pen to kind of make it look semi-intentional. And the thing with the decals, real quick, Microset and Microsol, if you don't use them, you should. They work so well together and they make decals look painted on. It's you just got to use a little bit of patience with it, let it do its thing, and it'll look great. You do a little matte varnish over it when you're done, and it really looks like it was painted on. So that's what I did here, as you can kind of see from the Blood Ravens symbol. There's no raised or anything like that. It looks like it's painted on. So, <clears throat> another thing I did on the legs, as you can see, I experimented with some weathering pastels, actually, from Tamiya. They call it Tamiya Weathering Master. And it's snow, soot, and rust in this one. And it looks like a makeup applicator thing. <laughs> but, uh, it works okay. I think for doing the armor plates on, like, a powered armored stuff, like a marine here, uh, I think the powder works better for the legs and the feet. But I think the pastels can work real nice on vehicles and on cloth because you use the uh, the sponge applicator tip and you can kind of smear on the pastel onto the cloth in a bit more of a controlled manner to make it look like an actual stain. Because you know if you see mud stain up clothing and whatnot, it's not powdery and whatnot. It looks more smeared on. And I think you can achieve that look with the weathering pastel. So. They may be worth picking up if you want to experiment with them. But anyways, another thing I did with this model, and you can't tell because the model's painted, is I base coated them in Celestial Gray. Now the Celestial Gray base color it looks like this when it's on a model. And it looks pretty great. You can see all the detail very clearly. I understand now why a lot of people base coat in gray. I've always base coated in black. And base coating whatever color you choose, if it works for you, go for it. There's no wrong color to base coat with, really. But um, black works great, especially if you're doing black armor. Although some people like to base coat in white but to do black armor, but they're crazy. That's too much work for me. But, um, you know, base coat in white, that can work too, especially for a more vibrant, bright color scheme. But I like the gray. I think the gray works very well. Um, for picking out all the details, getting the model covered, and then putting your colors on top of that. And if you want a darker color scheme when you put it on the gray, wash your do a base coat of the color you want, wash it in black, and then do another color, another layer on top of that, the same as that color, and you'll get it darker. But anyway, the Blood Raven's red color scheme has always been a darker red than like a Blood Angel and whatnot. So I went with corn red for that. Wash it in black, corn red again. And you can see kind of a light edging, I wanted to keep it very subtle, of Mephiston Red. 
And the final color scheme on the shoulder pad is one-to-one -one with Shopti Bone and White. Some people like to do a more brown, but um, I went for a more bone color. I like the way it contrasts with the red and everything better. I've always liked the Blood Ravens, and uh, considering the way their fluff is going with their origin and whatnot, it makes me even a bigger fan of them. So I'm hoping to do a few more Blood Raven models and maybe get a little strike force going over a long period of time, clearly, because this guy took... While the, actually painting them maybe only took a few hours, it was over the span of a few weeks. So uh, you can see it's not exactly quick progress here. But anyways, that's it for this test model of the Blood Ravens. He looks, um, I think he looks pretty great. Pretty cool for me. I mean, I'm not that good of a painter, but he's definitely one of my, my one of my better looking models. And uh, I attribute that to taking a bit more time and being a bit more patient with the model. Uh, in conjunction with trying out like the gray and doing stuff that way and just not rushing it, you know. I have no reason to rush it, there's no deadline to meet. So and just being relaxed about it, I think it came out pretty well. I got another model kind of mid stage through, uh, in the red, and plus that model you saw in gray. And I got another model, but the other model, um not the one I showed you in gray, but there's another one. It's not going to be a Blood Raven. So that's a little bit of a, uh, I set up for a semi cliffhanger, I guess. I'll show you that model when he's done. But, anyways, uh, that's it. Just wanted to kind of show you what I've been working on, what's been done, and what's on the plate. All in all, um, I, it feels good to be painting uh, Space Rain models again. I've always been a fan of them. While the Tau model was fun, I'm definitely getting more enjoyment out of painting up the Space Marines. So that's that. Thanks for sticking through this longish ramble. And until the next one, take it easy.